obviously, you know, you've had a couple of days to reflect since Saturday's uh, fixture at, uh, you know, at Horsham. And, you know, the season per se, it's obviously been a tough start. You know, what, what's your thoughts overall? Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a tough spell for us, really. Um, I think what's really important is to note that um, it was only March the 2nd when we beat Chesterfield at home, uh, the 20 points <laughs> winners of um, the National League. Um, it was only March when I think we drew with three out of um, six of the playoff teams and ended the season with a, a great draw at Rochdale. And, um, you know, it's actually only been, this bad spell we've had, only really been sort of six months. Um, and, you know, there's a few, three of those months of closed season. And obviously what makes it not amazing is the fact that one part of the bad spell culminated in our first ever relegation um, and the other part of the bad spell has culminated in us not having the fast start we wanted. Um, and all of it is um, all of it is underpinned by just significant, huge injury problems, both last season um, and this season. Um, that's the bottom line. But it's important to note... Um, this is a bad six-month spell in 25 years. Uh, the season previous, we finished 16th um, in the league, um, had some amazingly famous wins, Notts County, one of only two teams to beat them at Meadowbank. Who would have thought that that day would come a sold-out Meadowbank, beating Notts County, finished 16th, training Tuesday, Thursday night. Um, so I thought a really successful season. Um, and yeah, last season, back end of it in particular, uh, the injuries mounted all season, but back end we were really um, done for. Um, and this season, so, you know, actually a six month, a six month period of, of, of struggles really um, in 25 years isn't bad, is it? Really, when you look at it that way. But of course, the expectation on the club is always to to win and I wouldn't change that either I want everybody to expect us to win I want the fans and anyone involved in the club to always think that if we step on a football pitch we're going to win um, but it would be um, it would be remiss to to remind everybody that, that football's not like that um, it took us four seasons to get out of Sussex County Division 3 three I think or two or three to get out of Division 2 in the County League um, and yeah, so so, I think from my point of view, it's just about setting realizations and expectations. You know, like um, I would address it. I'll address it. I'll only address it this once only. But I find it really disrespectful. People who might bring me into call me into play uh, as a manager. Um, I really do. I think it would be disrespectful if we hadn't had all the injuries and all the problems, multiple ACLs, MCLs, issues. It'd be disrespectful even though if I had 40 players to choose from and we had a bad spell for a couple of three months or six months or even two years, it'd be disrespectful to me um, personally, uh, given everything that um, I do for the club and continue to alongside um, our volunteers and committee. It'd be disrespectful then um, to actually bring me into play um, with when we know we are absolutely obliterated with um, injuries is massively disrespectful. So I'll definitely take issue with anyone to their face um, that wants to challenge me um, and use me to fulfil their council culture mentality that they obviously live in their life. Fortunately, um, I think 98%, if not more, of all true Wanderers fans are amazing, all of our wider fans are amazing, uh, they get it, they know the club's having a bit of a spell and obviously all true supporters just have to be there for that spell um, and not act like spoiled brats and just think, Do you know what, we know we'll be working hard behind the scenes, um, we'll, we'll definitely get our side back to where we want it to be, I know that Mark, Chris and John Bynes and, and the management team, everybody be working non-stop to make sure we get the uh, the club back on track. But, I mean, it would be almost crass and uncouth of us 
to think that we've got a God-given right to be successful the whole time. Um, football's just not like that at any level. And uh, we're having a bit of a spell and we're working hard to, uh, to, to put an end to that. But um, So, yeah, that's where I'm at with it, really. I mean, it was only six months ago that, um, you know, I remember destroying Solihull Moors um, at home. You know, it was a draw, but we destroyed them. Great game. You know, the double uh, got to Wembley twice and, you know, competing against big clubs all over the country. Um, and things have been tough for us off the field, really. That's the... That's the main issue, Chris. So we, we work towards it not being as tough. Might not be immediate. Obviously, we want it to be immediate, but we'll see where we go. OK, thanks for that. And I, I was going to ask you, we don't need to dwell on this for too yeah. long, but I was going to ask you about the injuries. We've had a, another injury crisis, if that's the right word, but it yeah. does feel a bit like deja vu because obviously we've had so many injuries to contend with over the last couple of seasons and obviously we, none of us expected it to be like it is at the moment but it's easy to forget obviously what that does it puts more pressure on the players that are playing because they're playing you know as opposed yeah. to having a squad of X you've only got Y and players are playing more minutes than they should be yeah I mean just to address that we we've not been happy with our back uh, behind closed doors the, the, the physio team and that back end of last year we had big post-mortems around it we improved it put different things in place um, it's not been perfect this year yet it's been improved but not perfect this year we've took in loads of contact ones these are ones that are not you know we've had the odd pull and strain but no more than you'd normally get the big issue has been the you know Brennan's contact shoulder uh, Moro Cooley um, issues contact injuries Josh Taylor now uh, contact injury um and then, of course, when you put those on top of the strains, that's the issue, then you have loads of people out. But, you know, your point's totally right. I mean, the strain it puts on those boys that are playing. And there's a few supporters that, even before the game, Saturday in the warm-up, were, you know, I thought being quite disrespectful, the way they were talking to the players. I think those those supporters need to not bother coming. They're not real fans. You know, um, I totally appreciate that, fans have got to be able to express their their views but a lot of them boys are, are playing patched up they're struggling you know um any other day of the week they'd need a rest um we've played three or four games of our league season with two fit subs we've had boys playing with knee injuries charlie's played every game with you know uh with a really bad calf and these boys are running through brick walls and trying to and I'm not saying for one minute that I'm pleased with all of the players because I'm not. And we've got a lot of meetings this week and there'll be a lot of um, things that I'm working on behind the scenes. I'm sure people can trust me uh, to, to deal with that. But, yeah, the pressure on the players that have not been injured or not as injured as the rest has been huge. And, of course, you're one step nearer to getting a muscle strain or a knee problem like Jason if you're having to play all the time because nine of your mates are injured. So um, it, it is, to be honest with you... The injury situation is a mess, big mess, because somebody's got to pay for them players. So it's not it's not a football manager, it's not a computer game. You know, someone's got to go, right, well, we've got a, a really good wage bill for the level, so what do we do? We can't just go and magic up, you know, um, new players. Um, we can't just go and, you know, sign somebody off a computer. We've got to look at what we've got, we've got to try and get through it, and we've got to try and make good decisions. I mean, it's been really, really tough. We bought in four players. Um, close season obviously take folks out of that he's a goalie the three outfield players one's not kicked the ball but he's played 20 minutes Jordan Williams Brennan Camps played a couple of games and he's now Kai Bosch for the best part of six months um, and uh, Reese Murphy's played you know half a game well in, in the league he's played 40 minutes so you know when you put them boys on top of those others that we named you Josh Taylor's Moores Kules etc obviously really challenging so the fans have to show more class, and I, well, I, I don't, and I don't, I don't use this as a whole term. I'm talking about those minuscule, those those few fans that don't get the bigger picture need to shake their heads a little bit and, and get into reality. That's the bottom line with where we are. It can't be Mark White's fault or Chris Lee's or John Bynes or the club or Charlie Carter's or somebody else they're shouting at before a game. <laughs> you know, it's, it's actually, it's disrespectful. So, um, 
you know, fortunately though, and I, and I will not speak about supporters again, I really won't, this is the only time I'll do it, fortunately we've got incredible support, haters going to hate, people are always going to want to cancel people out because they don't like us being successful, so the minute they get a chance they'll go, whoa, 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 what about that Mark White, here we go, what about Mark White, let me tell you, we were mid-table in the National League, first time round, um, having just turned over Notts County, you know, brilliant performances at Wrexham, etc. And there's a few people going, I think Mark White's taking them as far as he can, you know. Fuck me. No shit, Sherlock. We're training two to 30 nights <laughs> in a full-time league with Chesterfield, Wrexham, Notts County. There'll always be people that want to use that opportunity to pat themselves on the back because they're probably the type in life that want to cancel people because they're not that successful themselves. Don't fall for that one. I don't. I won't talk about it anymore. Uh, all of our true fans, obviously, will see us through this period. Terry and all the gang, yeah, David London, all the, all the real supporters, okay, yeah. Um, they'll see us through this period, okay, yeah. Um, and, and thousands, there's thousands of those as well that will say, don't worry about Dawkins, you know, they'll sort things out. We're part flattered that people see us as a non-stop winning machine. Um, we're, we're sort of flattered by that. Um, but at the same time, you do have to manage people's expectations. We've got to rebuild. We are in a mess with injuries. We're in a real big mess, real big mess. Um, but there's still things behind the scenes I'm not happy with, of course, um, and I'm working on that. But over overarching is the uh, obviously the injury situation is pretty bleak. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for that, Mark. And you know. Finally, really, I mean, you know, you've covered an awful lot today, but I was just going to ask, you know, what, what's, what's the plan from here? You know, where, where to go? And, 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 you know, do you have a message for the fans just to finish this off today ahead of this Saturday's uh, away fixture at Western? Yeah, just enjoy being part of a special club. I mean, you've only got to look back at the pictures and, you know, remember all those journeys, the heart that pulled away, 5,000 people, 2 0 win. You know, you've only got to look at all the journey we've been on for a couple of years together. It's incredible. I mean, you have to pinch yourself, really. Um, the club's aims are no different at all. We're going through a really tough period, but it's it's actually one that's got a real, you know, foundation of a fundamental issue, which is getting players on the pitch and uh, the ones that are on the pitch not being under extra strain. So um, to want the fans to stay right behind us, I know they will be. Um, let's just worry about rebuilding where we are. Um, don't worry about, you know... Um, uh, don't worry about league positions. Just worry about us rebuilding ourselves up and all of those little tweaks and little things we're, we're going to try and do. And that is the plan. The plan is to slowly uh, slowly get a successful team back on the pitch, the right attitude, spirit, but most of all, the right players um, because that's what we're struggling to do. Uh, so that's where we are. Um, you know, it'd be boring if, if it was easy. You know, I think that is the thing because we've essentially gone knife through butter in 25 years 23 years just like wow this this they just do everything they just it's just you know it, it's maybe set the scene that you know everything's straightforward but you know it's uh we, we're having a, a spell where we've got to do things a bit differently and and we've got to make things happen and we will that's the bottom line we'll work very hard to make things happen and we need our supporters right behind us you know we want to make sure we keep packing metabank out away games out everything we do get behind us in every initiative we do because the club's going nowhere and uh, I, I can assure everybody that we'll be successful again and then um, and then the supporters that uh, or quote supporters the one or two that, that thought they could be uh, disrespectful and criticise a tough period will go back under their rock and hopefully go somewhere else and then the thousands of people that love the club we'll stick two fingers up at everybody else but we've got no God-given right for that to be the position we get into Chris we've got to work really hard um, all of us and we've got to show our class because proper football clubs have proper fans that support the club through thick and thin and luckily for us 90 odd percent of ours are like that and uh, I'm aware of that do you know what I mean but um, that's where we are mate so we're at Rygate this is Hartswood but I don't want to see it behind us yeah this is our new training facility um, which is as good as championship clubs I'd say uh, we're very fortunate, Rygate Grammar School, great partnership. Um, and uh, we've got a really good off the field setup. And uh, we're just going to slowly, uh, slowly work towards uh, on the field becoming very successful again as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, Mark, thanks a lot for your time this morning. Really appreciate it. 
good luck on Saturday. One thing that will be guaranteed is there will be a strong Wanderers contingent away at Western on Saturday, getting right behind the lads. Perfect. That is an absolute given. And uh, we'll catch up again Friday before Saturday's game. Cheers, Chris. Cheers.